Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fall of Porcupine, where we are Mr. Pigeon pretending to be a doctor. Well, no, he's actually a real doctor. We're the ones pretending to be a doctor. And if you guys recall in my last episode, we have three more patients we have to deal with after we've already dealt with the six, because someone decided to cause a riot outside, make that riot bigger, and now there's an influx of patients trying to come in all at once. It's just a bad storm all around. Anyway, let's go ahead and start dealing with our first patient, this cute little teddy bear. Good evening. Can you tell me how you're feeling today? I've had awful stomach cramps ever since last night. And diarrhea. My head feels like it's about to explode. The injection will help keep your pain in check at least. Okay. I feel like I'm going to die. Yeah, everyone tends to say that when they're in hospital now, don't they? <laughs> Ooh, that's a big one right there. Perfect. There we go. And you're all done. <laughs> now we just gotta wait. And I get an A for awesome. <laughs> okay, injection done. I hope it kicks in soon. I never felt this bad in my life. We'll give you a full checkup as soon as we can. In the meantime, try and get some help sleep. Please hurry. There's something really wrong with me. I know it. Yeah, you're probably exaggerating a little bit. But don't worry. As doctors, we make sure to, you know, treat our patients to the best of our ability. Alright, next one. Oh, cool. So far, they're, like, directly right in front of the door. So that makes things so much faster and simpler for me. Good evening. Can you tell me how you're feeling today? This morning, it felt like the flu. Now everything hurts, every breath I take. And how's your digestion? Everything went right through me this afternoon. The painkillers didn't help either, only a little. I'm going to take your pulse, then we'll see what we can do for you. Ah, damn it, I hate this one. Hey, I actually did something good. <laughs> I did better than last time. Uh, your body's finding something. We're going to find out what it is as quick as we can. Thank you. I hope it isn't contagious. Or is it always so busy here? Don't worry about that. My colleague will be back to check on you again soon. Okay. One more down. Oh, wait. <laughs> I just realized the other patient's back in here. <laughs> Whoops! Good thing I didn't go too far. Good evening. Struggling for air. Everything hurts. Help me, please. Of course, we'll adjust your medication. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Pills, pills, pills. Okay, looks like we're good. And exactly four prescription pills. Okay, my colleague will be here in a minute to give you your new medication. Thank you. I don't want to die. We'll do everything we can to make sure you get well soon. I promise you that. <sighs> I mean... Yeah, if you're suffocating, you sound- you feel like you're dying. <laughs> okay, now what? Are we gonna get three more patients? Oh no, I'm sorry. The fourth floor is even fuller than here. All the beds are occupied. There was some talk about whether we could fit more beds in somewhere. And then there was an incident. An elderly lady collapsed and I had to lend a hand for a while. And I didn't know the place so well, so... It's alright. Take a deep breath. Better? Better. How did it go here? I'm done with everything so far. Can I take a look? It should be just a regular B. Oh, it's an A. Never mind. Hey, <laughs> We're doing better. Everyone seems to be doing better. It's nice to know I can trust you with my task in case of an emergency. 
I'll try to return the favor soon. Thanks for taking over. How do you feel? Tired. No problem. I'm not flagging yet. You're really tough. With all this running, I might as well quit the gym. <laughs> I could really use some coffee right now. Let's do that then. Not at this time of day. I'm dead tired, actually. Have you heard from Carl yet? No, now that you mention it. I've not spoken to him. Should we give him a call? Maybe he has some news for us. Good idea. Pull out your phone, Finley. Ring, ring, ring. Carl? And? Nothing. He's not picking up. Strange. I hope everything's alright. I'm sure he's fine. Oh, Finley! Mia! Come quickly, please. The patient in room 302 is really sick. We can't stabilize him. Uh-oh. Wait, who's in room 302? Is it the one we just... Try to help? It is. Finley, Mia, quickly. Help me stabilize the patient. Oh no, it's the one that collapsed. The cramps keep getting worse. The patient is unresponsive. We need to... Oh. Oh no. He just passed. What? Dr. Krakowski, I... Be quiet. Sandra, take the disease details. The patient suffered from severe and irregular abdominal cramps. We noticed heavy gastrointestinal and bleeding. Dr. Lin was advised against surgical treatment. The blood work needs to be evaluated immediately. We know the bleeding was caused by a bacterial infection. Everything else will become clear soon. Please, leave now. Is there anything we can do? Yes, there is. Please give me a little space. And get some rest. But don't you need a break? Not right now. This is an extreme case. I will consult Dr. Gutera and wait for the results from Dr. Halil. I need you fresh and well rested in the morning. If this patient fell sick without warning, others could too. Even if there's no indication of a direct risk of infection. Please be prepared. We'll know more tomorrow. Ah, shit. Well, that was not the ending I was expecting to see for that patient. And I can't seem to interact with it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah. Go to bed. Go to bed quickly. Let's see what go to bed is. Does it give us more time? <laughs> nope. Still the same. Go to bed. What a night. Whatever. Time to go to the hospital. There's nobody here. It's like a ghost town. Wait, are we dreaming then? <laughs> nah, wait. Can I interact with it now? You're still here. Why hasn't anyone come to pick you up? Hmm, who knows? Okay, wasn't there snow when I was when I came home? Why isn't there snow now? And he's not even wearing like a heavy jacket either, you know, and his cap. He's wearing his regular, you know, fall winter fall jacket. <laughs> Everyone's got tummy ache. I had tummy ache once. I ate a lot of cherries, as many as I could. But then I got tummy ache. I don't have tummy ache today. Do you have tummy ache too? No, fortunately not. Yay! Wanna eat lots of cherries with me then? There aren't any cherries around right now. We only get them in the summer. That's not true. There's always cherries at the grocery store. They even sell them in bowls. <laughs> well, he's got it there. But that, I'm pretty sure they, you know, that's all they could gather up before uh, they started growing, you know? Oh, hey. At least you're okay. Good morning, dearie. Unusually quiet today, isn't it? Makes an old body feel a little lost. Are you okay? Oh, yes. Just a little tired. Uh, I don't want him to go over there and, you know, get sick. But, I don't, at the same time, just in case. <sighs> Damn it. I hope this, not, this doesn't affect me whatsoever. So, go home and lie down. But it's so nice and peaceful today. 
I want to enjoy the crisp fresh air a little longer. Well, all right then. But if you start feeling worse, get some rest, okay? I will. Hey, Juliana. Finley. You look worried, friend. I heard what's happened in St. Ursula's. Everyone has. You need anything? Just say the word. Just look after yourself, Juliana. That's the best way to help us right now. Oh, okay. I ain't always best to look at my, out for myself. But I'll make sure I don't leave Gilbert's today. I ain't expecting many customers. But sometimes it's nice to have the place to myself, you know? Hang in there, Juliana. Oh. What in the world? The ambulance is supposed to use the back entrance. Really? Wait a minute. That bat's getting wet. The protesters are gone too. Did they all get sick? Oh no, they're, they're just inside. My belly feels like it's on fire. I think I'm gonna faint. Angry? Angry at what? Billy, I really can't talk right now. We're getting overwhelmed. The wards are almost full. We've got more and more people coming in with the same symptoms. I'm trying to organize more beds. Make yourself useful and get to your ward. Well, well damn. You see what you did, Ralph? You see what you did? Ah, oh my god, he's on a he's on a rush. Okay, let, ooh, wow. Okay, so yeah, we do have some patients out on the on the hallway. It's pretty crowded here. The hell's the night shift? Don't ask. Don't ask. I'm pretty sure my bloodstream is like 80% coffee right now. <laughs> Don't you want to take a break? Nope, nope. Breaks later. Things to do. They want us all to head to the break room. Dr. Kukowski's got something to tell us. Works for me. I was just going to get myself another coffee anyway. <laughs> Probably increase it by another 2%. <laughs> I don't know what they want us to do uh, in the break room. Like, Because now is not the time to be taking a break, you know? <laughs> but it must be very important. If they're if they need to meet with us right now in this kind of situation Good morning I have a small announcement to make You look tired dr. Kukowski. Did you even go home last night? We know more about what we're dealing with now. We still need some time. Oh, yeah, just ignore the question <laughs> Very professional. She's just gonna stride on through The bacteria is aggressive. We've been able to contain it to a certain extent but some patients are still experiencing internal bleeding. But that's not what I called you here for. As you may have noticed, our wards are full. What's more, a few of our staff have also started falling ill. Yeah, I mean, that's a given. You should have been wearing masks. Why weren't you wearing masks? <laughs> if more people are admitted as the day goes on, we will hit full capacity. And what does that mean? It means that if we run out of space, we're going to have to turn people away. But, yes, I know. This is new for me too. But we have no choice. People are already being re reallocated to other hospitals in the local area. But the nearest hospitals over an hour's drive away. We can no longer treat them here. I would ask you to take note of this information. We can't just send people back onto the streets. You know, some of these people might be seriously ill. We... Wait a minute, Dr. Kikowski. Carl. What are you doing here, Carl? Don't you know you're not currently authorized to be here? It's just a break room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Any idiot can see the hospital's bursting at the seams. So it seems. How else are we going to explain your presence? Oh, did she just call him an idiot? <laughs> I can't just sit by and watch people croak. And I won't let you down just because of some stupid forced vacation. Who's going to stop me? 
Dr. Theobald's vanish into thin air. If he wants me thrown out, he can come up here and try it with his bare hands. And what's your plan? You think you can to conjure up a second hospital with a wave for your magic wand? I don't need to. The ward on the fifth floor. Dr. Kukowski, we can get it running again. There's plenty of space up there, and most of the beds are still in place. That ward has been out of operation for years. What? So you'd rather send all those sick people back home? Oh, she did not like that. <laughs> Very well. I won't claim I'm happy about this, but since you're already here, get the fifth floor, floor ward up and running as fast as you can. I'll help Carl with that. I can't say I'm surprised to hear you volunteer, Finley. I'll go to the lab and see Dr. Hallel. I hope he has good news. Mia, Sandra, I leave this ward in your hands. Are you up to the responsibility? Yes. Ain't no thing. Good luck, everyone. Now, get moving. Come on, Finley. Let's take a look at the ward upstairs. Sounds good to me. All right, now what are we doing? You really think we can do this? Sure we can. There's a lot of junk lying around and we've got no electricity. But if we work together, we'll get the hang of it. It doesn't have to hold together for years, just long enough for us to ride out this wave. I'll deal with the bedrooms. You take care of the corridors. We're not trying to win a prize for the best interior design. Just clear enough space so we can get through. Understood. Okay, uh, I guess I'm going this. Okay, nope, not that way. <laughs> That's a dead end. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I should be picking up those garbage bags. Oh, here we go. Well, that's something, I guess. Chair? We're not. <laughs> There's a lot we're missing, so. Okay, I guess we're done. It's as good as new. Uh. If you. Okay, I mean, if you're happy with this quality, by all means. <laughs> I still see a puddle there, though. Why do we stop using this water in the first place? It has a lovely rustic charm. Uh, probably the rust. <laughs> you don't want rust near uh, sick patients. <laughs> Maybe it has something to do with all the mold. The discarded machinery. That thick layer of dust that's covering everything. Alright, alright, you've made your point. But the dust only moved in here later, you know. Okay, we've got almost everything we need. We're just missing the power. I might be able to help with that. I once administered emergency treatment to the junction box in surgery. I'm afraid this ward doesn't have a junction box. When the others got refurbished, this one was just left to rot. I'd guess the breakers for this ward are down in the basement. That's where the main distributor is. I'll go downstairs and turn on the power. Good. I'll get started filling up the beds and rooms. There's plenty of people waiting downstairs after all. Okay, well, at least I don't have to take the stairs. Oh, wait, no, I do have to take... Wait, is there no elevator up here? Seriously? I'm... Okay, I'm going to take a quick look. Crap noodles. Okay, so there really is no elevator on this damn floor. It is a long-ass hallway. <laughs> it feels like it's longer than the other floors. And not only that... Why does it not have an elevator? If you're treating patients up here and they're really, really, really sick, like let's say they're stuck in the bed and need that bed to be moved, do the doctors have to try to carry it up up the stairs? Okay, uh, was it this way or the other way? Okay, not this way. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot exactly where the, uh... Oh, wait, this is it? Yeah, that's gotta be it. There we go. That's it. If I carry it on like this, I'll be able to qualify as a professional electrician soon. <laughs> yeah, right. Now I need to get back upstairs. Carl, Carl's on his own up there. Alrighty, here we go. Ah, damn it, I still can't use the elevator. Hold on, that's... Dr. Theobald. What were you thinking? Have you any idea what's been going on around here? Yes, I know, of course. That's why I'm here. 
just listen to me for a moment, please. I had to go. I couldn't stay here anymore. I take full responsibility. I always wanted the best for St. Ursula's, believe me. A few years ago, I was appointed chief physician, but not without help. Roman Hydric already held a lot of influence over the hospital, even back then. He offered me the position of chief physician as part of a restructuring. Wait, what? At the time, I thought it was the best way for me to actively help the hospital. I was still too young. I hadn't really earned a position. But I went along with it, and Roman supplanted my predecessor for me. We had big plans. Everything was great at first, but Roman put more and more pressure on me. He had interests of his own. That little weasel. See? I knew it. He had them shifty eyes going back and forth. That's why I gave him the little voice of him talking so fast. Because I just felt like he was he was a little sleazy. And I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm going to shut up. Let's continue and find out exactly what's going on here. He didn't even try to hide them from me. He kept coming to me with strange ideas. He wanted to take more and more money out of the hospital. That little rascal. When I refused, he started blackmailing me. I had to sign bills, purchase orders, and order documents for him. Otherwise, he would blow the cover on our agreement. And as chief physician, I would have taken the fall for everything. That's why I went along with it, for the good of the hospital. You know what? Ralph was kind of right. <laughs> kinda. Not completely. Kinda. I still don't like Ralph too much. However, as we drew more and more public attention, Roman got cold feet. He took off and advised me to do the same. Sooner or later, his scam would be uncovered. And well, here we are. But I couldn't leave the hospital in such a time of need. I will take responsibility for what I have done. I'm so sorry about everything. I never should have. <laughs> I saw that coming. Pull yourself together. Look at yourself. I'm furious. I never thought I, you were capable of such a thing. If you really care about us in St. Ursula's, then get a move on and help the staff. Now. We don't have time for all this whining. But I... <laughs> there we go. Uh-oh. Did... Did we use too much power? Dr. Kukowski, what's going on here? Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the fifth floor. No matter, the power's gone out. Maybe we overloaded the grid. The hospital's running on emergency power. I'll speak to Gregor. We'll get this under control as quickly as possible. And I'll make sure that all the wards can continue working. Finley, please go to your ward. Check on Mia and the others. What about Carl? Carl's extremely experienced. He'll be fine without you for a few moments. I'll be there in a minute. Got it. Well, at least now we know why Theobald escaped. And I still... Seriously, he's not going to let me leave? I have to take the stairs? Oh, come on. Okay. Mia, the power's out. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> or can't see. <laughs> or rather, I can't see a great deal of anything right now. Hey, I just made that joke. <laughs> Are you all right here? Do you need a hand? We'll muddle through. Sandra's got the work under control. Where's Dr. Kukowski? She's checking all the wards. Have, every have everything they need. Dr. Theobald's taking care of the power failure. Dr. Theobald? Did I hear that right? Yes, he's back. I just ran into him while he was explaining himself to Dr. Kukowski. He was... Now's not the time. What is that? What's wrong? Can you smell that, Mia? Is that smoke? What do you mean? It smells like smoke. The fifth floor. It's on fire. What? We just got the ward up and running. Everything was going great. Then there was this huge bang. Sparks flying everywhere. And all that old junk up there caught fire. We have to get out of here quickly. Where's Carl? He's still upstairs. We're trying to get everyone out of there. Mia, I'm going upstairs. I have to check on Carl. Should I come with you? You stay here. Make sure the ward's evacuated properly. I... Okay. I can do this. 
Rainy, could you help me up, please? Sure thing. See you in a minute. Ah, great. How? Are you there? Over here! Quick! We need help! We? But there's more people up here besides you? Oh, damn. The bed stuck! Help me move it! Oh, I gotta get behind him. <laughs> Heave ho! There we go. Okay, so I guess we started getting some patience up here. See, this is the problem. You have no elevator to go down. Although, at the moment, we really can't take an elevator because they're in fires. It's recommended you don't. almost ended very badly. Oh, at least there was only one person. Thanks, Finley. What are we going to do now? We need to put out the fire. First, we have to get everyone out of here. There's a plan for things like this. We evacuate everyone to the school gym hall. Then we stay there until the fire's been put out. We contact the other hospitals in the area and get people out to them as soon as possible. Until then, we keep going. So, get everyone out? Get everyone out. We can't use the elevators. So we'll need to carry people downstairs. Benjamin and I can man the stairs. You go to the bottom of the stairs and take the beds as we pass them down. Then me and Archie will be waiting at the front entrance. Take the beds to the front of the building. What about the other wards? They'll all be doing the same thing. Do you think Dr. Kukowski and me will be okay? Yes, we'll help them in a minute. Thank goodness we hadn't filled this ward up to capacity yet. Okay. Come on. There's no time to lose. Wait, do I need to help you here or... Get downstairs, Finley. We're carrying people down. You need to get them out of here as fast as you can. Okay. Wait. Do I need to carry him? You're just, a, you're just leaving him here. Okay, well, I'll see you in a bit, I guess. <laughs> How are things looking up there? Bad. Benjamin and Carl are evacuating people in the beds. Great, us too. We still need people downstairs to help with the transport. I'm on my way. All right, I guess we're gonna be seeing people on each level, yep. Mia, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. The smoke's really bad though. The first floor on fire. We need to get people out of here fast. Sandra and I are getting ready to evacuate our ward now. We'll bring everyone downstairs. I'll help push them to the main entrance. Good. Take care, please, Finley. You too. See you soon. Okay, I wasn't expecting to be dealing with a fire in this game. He's a surgeon, dude. We've almost evacuated everyone. But they still need urgent help downstairs. Okay. Uh, at least we're almost there. I can't believe it. How could this happen? Um, like you said, he was sleazy. <laughs> this is what happens when you take cuts. Oh, damn. Oh, I gotta push you out. It's really smoky down here. Why is it so smoky? The fire's upstairs. They shouldn't have traveled down here this quick by now. It takes a long while for smoke to... Well, not to fill up. It doesn't take long, long, but it does take a minute for it to reach from the fifth floor down to the third floor. And so it's kind of hard to believe that there's already fire here on the first floor. Okay, that's one. I hope there isn't anyone on the other side, but my guess is there is. Hey, guys, come on. Don't just run away. Don't just walk past by them. Help me push them out. Sorry, sir, but your, your check bounced, so we have to kick you out. Don't worry, don't worry. All your belongings will be kicked out as well. <laughs> also, did you know there's a fire? Okay. Enough joking around. We gotta get these people out. Jeez, everyone's just running by me. Thanks for the help, guys. It's not like I don't need it. There goes me and Dr. Kakowski. 
so much for help, right? All right, you're the last one. Oh God, it looks like he's already getting tired. And the smoke is definitely getting heavier. It's getting, damn. It'd be difficult trying to get out in this kind of smoke. During the fire, they say to keep low to the ground because all the fresh, well, as fresh as it can be, the air down there is easier to breathe compared to all that um, soot you're breathing in that travels higher up. Oh, is there someone else? Finley, you're still here. You need to leave. Take the next transport to the gym. The rest of the staff are already on their way. I'm sure your services will be needed there. Don't you think I should do another check of the hospital? We might have missed some people. I've been to a lot of the wards. I'll do one last round of the ground floor, then I'll be right behind you. I'll come with you. You've done well, better than I could have done. I'll be all right. I'll just hold my stethoscope tight. Go now, Finley. And thank you. He's, I hope he doesn't die in this. I kind of have a feeling that he's probably either A, he's gonna die, B, he's gonna be out of there and be just fine, or C, he, he's gonna fake his death and, you know, run away again. But then again, he seems to have integrity, so maybe he might not. Thanks, man. Come on, get in here. The others need you. Oh, damn. Ah, Finley, there you are. We need all the help we can get right now. Come on, take care of the sick as best you can. I'll assign the teams, then I'll help out as well. What are you waiting for? Show me what you can do. Oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, shit. Not this again. Ah, V, 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 V! Hey. Help, help, help. Oh my god, this is tough. Oh no, oh come on! We're gonna fail this one, I have a feeling it's- Oh, no! Hey, we did it! Oh! I thought we were gonna be losing it. And like the game would force us to lose a patient. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I hate this one. Okay, you better go slow. Okay, it's a B. That's better than nothing. Better than a C. Okay. Who else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Here we go. Last one. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, come on. Okay. Whew. All right, anyone else? Anyone else that needs my help? Oh, damn it, here's another one. Oh no, come on. I really suck at this one. Okay, I think I gotta be on that one, so. It should be good, right? <laughs> Any others? Oh man, I gotta go back and forth. Uh, this is stressful. Come on, okay. You. Okay, what do you need? What? Ah, oh, not this again. Uh, I gotta see on this one. This one's. <laughs> I really hate this one. I really, really do. Finley, leave it. Doctor Krakowski, glad you're here. This patient's very sick. I. She's beyond your help now. But, can't you see? The woman's already dying. Damn it. But I can, you can help me. I need you up front, urgently. Please come with me, quickly. Sorry, ma'am.
crappy situation. Okay, well, we made it through the night. The rain stopped. I hope we helped enough. Unfortunately, I couldn't help that one lady. I know I went below the B level. What happened if I actually managed to stay above it? Would, would she still been alive? Hell, if, God, if I got an A, would she still be alive or would the game... Or is this just part of the game? No matter what I've done, she would still pass. Wait. Oh, shoot. The hospital's gone. Well, Ralph got his wish. He wanted the hospital gone. It's gone. Wait, that's it? We actually got through the game? Dedicated to the people who work in healthcare. Okay, well... <laughs> oh, Jesus. This game felt like it would have gone on a little bit longer than this. <laughs> I knew it was building up to something. I just wasn't expecting that we'd be hitting like an epidemic of this sort. And I hope that Dr. Halil managed to find at least the cause of it. Maybe even a cure to the bacteria that everyone was experiencing. And I wonder what caused the bacteria. Is it... Did they eat something wrong, or did someone just contract it from their work, or what? You know, I'm on, I want to know these things. I want to know exactly where it came from, who caused it. But I do know one thing. It was thanks to Carl, I mean, not Carl, Ralph, who gathered all these people into one spot that made the virus easier to be contracted by others, you know, surrounding them. So if he didn't go on his little rampage, Everyone would have been fine, except for maybe like one person. And then even then, while they're dealing with it, more people would have, you know, probably succumbed to it. But, but, at least I, I don't think it would have been a bad. But then again, that guy would have probably been, would have died in his home. And no one would have known until maybe like a day or two later. This town seems very close-knit. I'm sure they would have figured something was wrong within hours of like, hey, where's this guy? I don't know, I haven't seen him all day. That's weird, he usually does this at this time of hour. Well, maybe someone should go ahead and take a look. And then they probably would've found him. And then, yeah, that that person would've gotten contacted. But, but yeah, no, that, I feel like it, if that were to happen, unfortunately, no matter what, the guy would've passed. Oh, good look. They got the weasel. <laughs> he got arrested. Take that, you little weasel. That's what you get for, you know, being greedy and cutting corners in the hospital. So, again, Ralph was right, but at the same time, he's still an asshole. <laughs> but then again, he probably knew something more than we did. He just didn't explain it right. He would just let his anger and we just wanted to lash out without really explaining the reasons why. I mean, yeah, we got the reason that it, his wife died and he blames the hospital, but they didn't go more into that. That or maybe I'm just giving him too much credit. <laughs> He's not, he didn't know exactly what was going on. Just had this, he just wanted to blame the hospital just because he lost someone. <sighs> Either way, it's all thanks to that little weasel, Hydrek for causing all these issues and maybe when they rebuild the hospital it'll be a little bit bigger and hopefully it'll be run by someone that's morally what's the word i'm looking for basically just has a bit more morals than he does you know not just about the money money's great and all but what are you gonna do when you have a lot of money you're just gonna gather it what, I mean, what, what's the whole point? I, I've always thought about, like, if I made this much amount of money, I go ahead, save this amount, and put it somewhere in my bank and let it accrue interest and all that. You know, make some money back. Of course, I'm also, like, I got a couple of uh, investments in stocks. It's not a whole lot. I'm, I, I'm a poor son of a bitch. <laughs> but it's something. Uh, it's definitely got grown in over a year. Not as much as I like it. It hasn't doubled just yet. It's getting there. 
we're like about a 50 percent uh increase in what i mean either way enough babbling about that but still what would you do with that kind of money there's no point in, in having so much money i just want to have enough money to live comfortably i'm going to be renting apartments for the rest of my life i am not buying a house <laughs> Unless for some reason I have enough money to buy land and maybe build a house on top of it. Other than that, I'm not buying a house. I'm just going to rent. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized that's not Dr. Theobald. Damn it, he did pass away. <sighs> Damn it. Well, at least he did some... Wait, what's going on? There's something magical about this place. That's for sure. Okay. Well, that's Fall of Porcupine. <laughs> what a great and amazing game. I know people have already played this. You know, this. I started playing this game a little late. And I've only been doing like two uploads every week of this. Because I'm trying to mainly do like indie games. I'm not really, you know, want to do these long hour games too, too much. But who knows? Maybe in the future that'll change. For now, I'm just... I got a new job, I got, so it's kind of like difficult trying to upload five days a week. In the future, I might change my upload and how and how many I'm going to be uploading. Um, but for right now, I want to do my very best and make sure there's a video out, you know, Monday through Friday, so y'all can enjoy. And in the future, you you know, yeah, you just have more choices to, uh, to pick out. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed this game so very much. This is definitely going to be one of my favorite games. It's so simple, but the story is amazing. And I am <laughs> I am all about the stories. doesn't matter what kind of games it is. I, I really, As long as the story is well written, I could probably overlook a couple you know, artistic choices here and there. <laughs> I have an issue with that. But anyway. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe for me. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care, you guys.